Good morning, Libra. Hello on this rainy northern Indiana uh, kind of morning. Don't you love the rain? I love the rain. Alrighty, Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck, Dreamscape Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. I'm looking at Taurus's Five of Pentacles energy coming in, and then the Queen of Cups, Cancer. Let's see what's going on here, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Libra, know a Libra, feel like being a Libra. Librans, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Libra and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Libra. It could resonate as the main story and Libra can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Libra or for Libra. Take it as it resonates. Collective messages from my lovely Libran, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the energy for Libra they need to be aware of? What's the energy coming in? What's the energy coming in? What's the energy coming in for my Librans? Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy. What's influencing the Ten of Wands? What's influencing the Ten of Wands? The world. I mean, something's all on your back. I mean, literally, look at that. And it feels like you're ready to let something go. It's just, it's been too difficult. What's the reason for the reading? Okay, that's a book. Ten of Cups. You got two tens here. Nine of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Wands. I'll be honest. I, I could feel that I could feel for a work read and for a love read going on here. For instance, work read. Ten of Cups can say you might be happy where you are, but you're just not being um, paid your worth. You don't feel like it. You, you, you feel kind of stuck. Nine of Pentacles reverse is just not feeling, it, it feels unstable, you know, and worried about your future. Eight of Wands is thinking of leaving. I am more than thinking because you got the world here with the Ten of Wands. And Tens and Tarot talk about a cycle coming to an end. It could be as much as I want this. If they don't treat me the way I, I should be treated because this doesn't feel really great with the Nine of Pentacles reverse, it's time to leave. The bad thing with the Ten of Cups is, is I feel like you've been there a while and I feel like for the most part, you like your job. Either you like your job, hate your coworkers, love your coworkers, hate your job or love your coworkers, love your job, but not the boss or the pay, something like that. There's just one thing here. And if this is a love read, if uh, the first thought I got with the nine of pentacles reverse is with the two tens here, it feels like love sometimes just isn't enough because somebody isn't pulling their weight. And I'm getting, they can make you feel a certain type of way because this nine of pentacles is a minor arcana card of the empress. And it just it just feels icky, honestly, the way somebody kind of treats you or keeps you out in the cold or, or kind of neglects your needs and wants. And for some of you, the first, I'll, I'll be honest, the first thought I got, you're dealing with somebody who's very insecure. That's, and you're like trying to love them anyway here. What's in the past? What's in the past for Libra? King of Cups. I love that. Scorpio, what is on your mind? What is on Libran's mind? You got Hangman, trying to think it over, King of Wands reverse, and the Devil reverse. I feel like you're ready to call it. And when this King of Wands reverse comes out, the female, it always reminds me of the magician. And I feel like somebody kind of has tapped you dry here. Kind of, some of you even feel used. And the devil reverse, I think you're starting to see them clearly. It's been toxic for you. I think you've been stressed. And I uh, ready, I, I, I just feel like you're ready to call it. What's in the near future? What's in the near future for my Librans? Five of Wands reverse. Gosh, I didn't, I honestly didn't see that one coming. That could be an apology or making amends to keep you there. Emperor fell out of the deck. So you got the king and queen of wands in their cards because five of wands is Leo, emperor is Aries. Give me one more card near future for Libra. I actually feel like you have a lot more power in the situation than you thought. You didn't think you did with the nine of pentacles reverse. You thought you probably had no power. Once you decided to call it or make a decision to leave, five of wands reverse is somebody trying to get you to stay. I know it could be an apology, make an amends, heal the rift. Give me one more card for Libra. I'm really curious what you're going to do. Give me one more card for Libra. 
Nine of Look at the bottom of the deck coming. Three of Swords, there you are. Hurt one too many times. The Chariot and the Sun. What's beautiful about these two cards coming out together is the Chariot is going towards the Sun and you make it there. You finally get your happily ever after. Reason for the reading. Honestly, maybe you already have a new offer with this Ten of Cups and Eight of Wands. And you're letting go of the devil here. But the devil's trying to like follow you or trying to keep you to stay. Um, Emperor is... Too little, too late, honestly. Nine of Wands reverse is letting go of them and letting go of the hurt around them that they did to you. See how when she's upright, she's holding on to a very painful situation, hoping for the best, but already know she's been living in the worst. So I feel like you're ready for that new beginning. All right, what is this? Ten of Wands, Sagittarius in the center of the reading. You have a lot of fire here, Libra. I'm not gonna lie. You have Leo, you have Aries and you have Sagittarius. You have all the fire signs. All right, what is this Ten of Wands? Center of the reading. Yep, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. Time to make a fresh start. I feel like you're just, you're taking a different offer. Five of Cups reverse is already in the new. You're not looking back. You don't want anything from the back. You just want to be kind of you just want whoever this is to accept your decision and leave you alone. That's what I'm kind of getting. What is the world influencing energy? And this, yeah, making your, you're moving on. I feel like they're going to regret treating you that way. They're going to regret if they don't already losing you. And they're always going to wonder, not wonder, but I think they know that they could have done better to keep you. What is this Nine of Pentacles reverse reason for the reading? Because I really do feel looking at that is already where you're at or going. What's this Nine of Pentacles reverse, Virgo? Reason for the reading. Knight of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups reverse are promises, promises, but never a delivery. It's somebody who's in and out, somebody who gets theirs, but leaves you, you know, for your own. It's up to you to satisfy yourself or to help yourself. But you know what? When I need you, you better be ready for me. You know, they know your number when they need something. They forget your number when it's like your birthday or when it's race time. They, you know, that's the Knight of Cups reverse. It's somebody who never delivers on what they promise. Tell me about this Ten of Cups, Pisces. King of Cups. Look at the water. King of Cups and the Ten of Cups is emotionally very happy about the new offer and where you're going. Speaking of, Eight of One Sagittarius, Page of Wands reverse. You know what's so beautiful with this page of wands reverse right above it is the nine of wands reverse is if you look at a traditional nine of wands card he holds his page of wands and he's holding his eight of wands back so yes he has this new beginning but he's he's holding on for somebody else to do the right by them and then hopefully they don't have to leave they're holding on right but when it's reverse you look at it this way the page of wands is in play and the eight of wands is in play you're not holding back your energy anymore for somebody who really you can't you know them to be a liar at the very least and with this page of wands reverse it's kind of like you're you broke the dam and you're letting the energy fly here's your offer coming in six of pentacles seven of cups reverse and the two of cups libra is this love what is this it's it's feeling connected to oneself but it, it does kind of feel like love you got seven of cups reverse which is an ace of cups somebody telling you very clearly what it is they want and a real offer on the table six of pentacles no wonder you got a king of cups and the ten of cups and the eight of wands i mean this offer is an easy decision after what you've been dealing with king of cups in the past scorpio and the tower scorpio Why the tower here? This tower talks about a sudden change. It could be something that needs to leave your life. It could be something that's coming in that you do need. So why um, I want to clarify that one more time, because some of you, this already came in back here and already got your wheel spinning in your mind with that, with the um, hangman on your mind. What is, what is this tower in the King of Cups? Ooh, lovers reverse. This does feel like an, an offer. For some of you, maybe you were in something and somebody kind of opened you up to where you could be. 
and it gave you the clarity what you need to leave what you've been needing to leave. King of Wands reverse on your mind. I feel drained on that one. Look at the King of Wands upright. I feel like you have nothing left to give this situation. In fact, if it's love, you're not even attracted to them anymore. And the King of Wands, I feel like somebody's kind of giving you the energy to make you feel alive again, you know? Making you feel like you matter. Why the devil reverse next to it? Ace of Pentacles. You definitely have an offer back here. Some of you, if this hasn't happened yet, this is your near future. This is way in the future. Just depends because some of you are still in this situation. Ace of Pentacles and the devil reverse. This offer comes in. It's easy to let something else go. Something's been very toxic for you, and I feel like you've been dealing with it on your own. Hangman on your mind, Pisces. And the fool reverse. Why is that? Hangman is still stuck to the current and a little bit afraid of leaving it. Are you afraid of leaving it because you've been here so long? Or if they just changed their mind? Or if this offer that came in is just another Knight of Cups reverse? And you left this for the same thing. The full reverse is a little bit of fear. There's just this tinge of what if. That's what I'm getting with that. So, but we have the five of wands reverse in the near future. What Leo energy, what is that? And the seven of wands, Leo energy. Seven of wands is somebody fighting for this. I do feel like this current situation is fighting for this, which it kind of feels connected back to here. There's a little bit of should, can I believe this person? But you have to ask yourself, do you, do you even want to be here? If this is a job or a relationship, is this something that you can see yourself in for the next five or 10 years? If this is a love relationship, Libra, you might realize even if this person starts fighting for you, you may have fallen out of love with them or like with them, or you got the ick factor going on. It's like the magic of it is is the, is gone. They they kind of ruin that. What's the emperor here? What's the emperor? You definitely yeah. Look at that four of wands reverse Aries and Aries. I think you're making a big decision. I think right here you're gonna realize you were the one with the power all along, but they made you feel powerless with this nine of pentacles reverse, nine of wands reverse in the near future. Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're out of there. Out of there. Look at that Hermit. And the Ten of Swords. You have now three tens. And there's the Page of Cups. You're in the new. You are. Six of Cups reverse and the Five of Swords. If somebody's coming back and be like, Libra, I'm sorry. You get that raise. Sorry, you get that relationship. It's a Five of Swords. It, that's the, a bit of a lying card here. And a Six of Cups reverse is somebody trying one last ditch out for it to keep you. But you're already, look at that. Judgment here and the world. You already know who this person is. They showed you a long time ago. You're just now truly believing it, you know? Take the new offer, whoever this is. I don't feel like, I, I, I just want to say for some of you, with you being an emperor is all that matters because you're on your own two feet. You're the one pulling the strings and you're, you're in charge of this circus show, to be honest. You don't have to take this person's offer. You don't even have to take the new offer. You can even start your own business. You can be on your own, but you're in a good place because you're not feeling powerless and you're not feeling insecure. You're actually very secure. So I actually get a full on Empress energy over here, male or female. All right, Libras, good luck. Have a good rest of your week. Good start to your weekend. Take care.